Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So back to our Gatling series. Today we are going to talk about what is fixed duration load simulation. It's a different type of scenario which I want that uh, I want to give a maximum duration of let's see one minute. And within the one minute I want to ramp up my users. Let's see 50 users for the next uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds that I want to do that. And starting with the, the user pool of uh, 10 users like that. So this is a different uh, scenario design. So we will uh, load the test for a fixed duration. That is very important. And uh, and then we have the users which is going to execute continuously throughout the life cycle of the test throughout the test that we have written over here. And uh, let's see how exactly it works. So we have to use the concept of a forever concept and uh, maximum duration concept in Gatling. So we will pick this particular scenario. There's this loop request that we have already seen this earlier where we have three methods are available get all user request. We are getting all the request. This is also a get call get user request single user request. This is a get call and this is an add user. This is a post call that we are using it and uh, we are going to change something over here. So I'm not going to disturb this class. I'm going to create a new simulation class over here. So let's create a Scala class and the class name I'm going to write. Let's see. This is my fixed a duration load okay uh, simulation and uh, this will extend uh, simulation and then I'm going to import important things from here so let me just import these things from here okay now after that what should I do in this case I'm going to copy this entire request from here to here Accept this setup. So copy this entire stuff and then paste it over here. And if you really want to introduce a proxy that uh, you can simply do that. So I simply write a proxy where where exactly. So we will be using uh, proxy is not compulsory. If you really want to use that, if you really want to monitor and check all the live traffic in Fiddler, that you can do that. That is what we are doing it. So I simple uh, writing local host comma 8888 like this. So this is a proxy and whenever the request is uh, are triggered, we will capture. We will see in the live traffic over here. OK, and then I'm going to set up the scenario. So how will you set up the scenario now? So for scenario guys, what we have to do. So these are the three requests. Execute this one, execute this one and execute this one du duration of uh, two seconds. And then before that, you just simply write dot forever. OK, uh, yeah, this forever method that you have to use it and starting bracket and ending bracket like that. After that, we have to set up. So I, I'm going to write one setup over here. So I simply write this is my setup and then I'm going to inject the scenario. So SCN dot uh, inject and initially you don't do anything. So simple write nothing for initial for five seconds. And then I simply start with the uh, at once uses around 10 and then I'm going to write that is the ramp up users I'm going to write let's see for uh, 50 users that I want to generate and duration I'm giving let's see during of uh, 30 seconds I'm going to write 30 seconds and uh, that's it and then I'm going to write the protocols that is HTTP configuration I'm going to write it and one more thing guys that the maximum duration that you have to give in your setup method. So you have to write setup the maximum duration of one. Either you write 60 seconds or you can write one minute over here. So you have to write one minute. OK, like this. I'm just giving a scenario name fixed. Let's see uh, duration load. Uh, simulation. OK, so yeah, so you have to put a dot over here. Everything looks good now. Perfect. So there are no errors. So let's run it. And the scenario name is fixed duration load simulation. So the fixed duration number four. And let's see test load. So initially five seconds it will be paused and then I'll open my fiddler and let's see the request is coming over here or not. Oops, <clears throat> it's a huge request. You can see that. So back to back calling the rig. Because we have given the maximum duration of one minute. 
and ramp up of 50 users for the next uh, 30 seconds, duration of 30 seconds, starting with the 10 users over here. So let's see, it's uh, calling it back to back and you can see the load live traffic over here for this particular request. Okay. Once this is done, then we will see the report. These methods are much better than, you know, as compared to JMeter or other performance testing tools. They are very straightforward methods and, and the description is also very straightforward. So here, everything looks good. There are no errors and you can see there are 787 request count that we are getting it. And let's see the report guys. So we will copy this index.html from here and then I'll show you the report directly over here after Gatling. So you can see that there are around 782 requests and uh, as such we did not get any error. Everything looks good and see the graph. So the graph is uh, like that. So started with this and uh, active users got ramped up and then keep will okay ramping up and then finally uh, 60 users are getting participated and then done like that okay so you can see maximum 50 plus 10 60 users participated initially 10 and ramped up with the 50 mm -hmm. and for the next duration of the uh, duration of that given seconds over here okay duration of the 30 seconds then uh, yeah you can see that 60 seconds like that okay so we started at 11 23 a maximum timeout that we have given up to till here only okay so maximum duration that we have given one minute so within one minute that is the maximum duration it it has to be ramped up everything within one minute only so yeah this looks good so this if you have similar kind of scenario for your load testing that also you can simple do that okay so this is called the fixed duration so make sure that okay you are not you are writing this may a maximum duration of one minute you are writing over here and within this particular maximum duration what exactly you want to how exactly you want to generate the load you can do it like this and the script will remain same okay so that's all for this particular video guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any issues please subscribe to the channel and take care